Rhinestones on everything, bikinis for toddlers and blinged out shoes. Even the gypsies bathing suits have crystal, they never wear anything without bling. With a deadline for a gypsy luau looming, the women at this tucked away dressmaker off Moody Street are on battle stations. Since my Big Fat American Gypsy Wedding premiered on TLC amid a lot of buzz, owner Sandra Celli has been flooded with calls. So it's a little bit less money than something like the cherry dress, which is liquid fringe. Having been the Gypsy's go-to dressmaker for more than 30 years, she creates larger-than-life designs for teen parties and weddings in the eight-part reality series. You know, I've had dresses that every inch is bling, and it's still not enough bling. I don't know where else to put it. It's status. Whoever has the most bling wins. It's a huge thing with them. Chelly doesn't just solve last-minute fitting emergencies in the hour-long episodes. She also fleshes in the little-known world of American gypsies. First time I saw them, I really thought they looked like prostitutes. They do dress sexy, but they have the highest morals of anyone I know. Um, they have to be a clean girl when they get married. I want something new. I don't want something used. With careers and education not always in the picture, gypsy girls need to sparkle when they can. Otherwise, they might miss a short window for wooing a suitor. They uh, fall in love, connect, and get married real fast, sometimes in a week. Okay, we're in trouble. We get 10 days. 10 days? In episode two, Chelly designed two looks for a Halloween party intended to show off 14-year-old Priscilla to the local gypsy men. She wore a really cool short set with a lot of fringe because when gypsies dance they like it to move. She had crystal knee boots because she wanted knee boots really bad and we covered them with 43,000 stones. Priscilla traipses around Waltham in her Queen of Hearts dress turning a lot of heads. Can imagine what the Halloween party is going to be like. As a designer it gives me a lot of freedom and a chance to use my creativity because I can always you know jump off the bridge with the gypsies and do whatever I want. The stuff he's done is like little minor stuff, high speed chase. So how does a man who lives in a trailer in Georgia and works in paving spring for two elaborate custom made outfits? At the end when it gets close to the wedding, they just, every big job they get, they put every dime into dressing that girl. The majority of gypsies in the U.S. are originally from England. They live mostly in the southern states and number about a million. The show's executive producer credits Chelly with enabling access to this reclusive world. If they thought I would do it, it was okay for them to do it because they, they trust me. I want to dispel a lot of rumors. Um, the most hospitable people I've ever met. Chelly's family is steeped in the biz. Her fashion famous mom, Yolanda, ran a successful bridal boutique in Waltham for years. We finally closed it which was hard for us. I don't want to cry. I mean, this is so creative compared to what I did, which is basic retailing. And her daughter just got a job as a buyer for Saks Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. Oh my God, yes, that's so fabulous. fabulous. The new show could make Sandra the most well-known, but she isn't letting it go to her head. I'm just Sandy. Like to cook, like to sew. That's just me. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Chris Wangler.